Hey everybody, Evan Kerstell here live. We are coming from Las Vegas where UiPath is showcasing its latest and greatest AI and Gen AI capabilities. Bobby Patrick, how are you? Evan, it's great to be here. It's great to be here with you virtually next time. Hopefully we're together. But uh, yeah, this conference at AI4 uh, is blown away my my expectations. It's, it's really amazing to see the quality of the enterprises that are here that are all trying to figure out how do I make AI work? <laughs> how do I make all of these these uh, boardroom you know, visions now actually work with AI? So I'm doing well, Evan. Fantastic. And for those two people watching who may not have heard of UiPath, first of all, where have you been? Secondly, maybe introduce yourself and UiPath to to those folks, in particular, you know, your AI push over the last many, many months. Yeah. So um, I personally, I've been with UiPath coming on six years now. We were this startup out of Romania. We're just moving to New York City. Founder Daniel Dinez, an amazingly kind, great guy, super technical whiz. Moved the company from you know headquarters to New York City. I joined. We were, I don't know, 2014, 20 million to ARR. It's annual recurring revenue. Now we're you know 1.2 billion dollars plus in just six years. So, uh, but more importantly, it's it's been a ride where we've created this automation software that you know it really liberates and frees humans from the mundane and rote. And now, thanks to kind of AI powered automation. Uh, actually helps humans make better decisions uh, because more of an, of, of an assistant to solve complex problems in critical industries like healthcare and uh, advancing, you know, cures or improving patient patient access or patient support and um, uh, or airlines or any industry. So the technology has really evolved in a tremendous way. And uh, we've got about 10,000 plus customers right now, uh, you know, most of the Fortune 2000 worldwide. And um, they talk you know, they rave about how they've created a digital workforce that now augments their human workforce, which is important in the world of, you know, constrained labor, uh, you know, with UiPath robots and our automation software uh, to, you know, make their lives better and to, you know, ultimately to accelerate human achievement, which is kind of what we're all about. Fantastic mission. And you're everywhere, so many events, but why is AI for this particular event so interesting and important and timely for UiPath. You know, Evan, in 2017, we got on stage at Forward One, which was our first kind of signature event. And uh, we're on Forward Six this year, it's crazy. But I remember when we created it, one of the things we talked about was that actually automation and you know our core technology at the time called Robotic Process Automation, RPA, actually is the best path to apply AI in the enterprise. Because you can basically attach a model, machine learning model, you know, to an actual workflow or the data that flows through a workflow that touches many applications. And at the time, that was pretty much out there. People were like, oh, okay, let's just focus on automating a task. Um, you know, that, uh, and, and, but that was what we talked about at the time. And, and since then, we've been putting more AI in, our, AI in our technology stack where we can, you know, our robots can look at a computer screen like humans, can help make decisions, can do, you know, turn a rules-based workflow into an experience-based workflow where, where uh, it improves over time based on the experience that a, uh, a robot or an automation learns. So AI has kind of been growing inside of us, but also the fact that, you know, we were able to actually go into how our customers want to apply their own AI. So it's been pretty core to our business. And then I think, you know, last year in our chat GPT and this AI euphoria that Evan, I'm sure you talk about often, it's now the center of, you know, of almost every customer conversation. And so, you know, we've leaned into that. We're, uh, AI4 is one of the largest conferences dedicated to AI in the enterprise. We're a top sponsor here. We're the track sponsor for the generative AI track. And we've already done a great demo with rounds of applause from the audience when they saw what our technology can do in terms of integrating in kind of open AI chat GPT with automation workflows. And uh, yeah, so, you know, we really belong here. And we're really an AI company that um, we defined AI power powered automation, Evan, before every company put AI powered in front of their product lines. We actually, so, so I'll have to change that forward six this year, but um, yeah, it's a great event. I, I tell you, government customers are here, uh, large enterprises, and, and they're looking to learn about responsible AI. They're looking to learn about, um, you know, how to get around AI bias or AI pollution, how to uh, deploy AI into, you know, customer service use cases, into mission critical use cases, how to worry about, uh, you know, fraud and, and other things. So it's a real 
hands-on conference, and uh, it's, it's pretty tremendous. Tremendous indeed. And you've made some pretty tremendous announcement today, a flurry of announcements. Uh, any in particular you want to share with us here? Yeah, so we've been on a journey over the last, say, six months to really begin to apply kind of natural language technologies, you know, in the, in the case of open AI inspiration, um, to our own platform in two key areas. And today we announced the private preview, which you can go and register for on insider.uipath.com, uh, where you can actually use natural, natural language to help create automation. So today we demoed and showed what we call Project Wingman, um, you know, name forthcoming, at uh, when we were unveiled this publicly in uh, Forward Six, uh, but essentially you you know, use natural language. Say, hey, you know, I want to go pull from my Salesforce ac- account. You know, all this customer information for rev- customers over revenue of 100 grand. I want to apply uh, these restrictions to to that data, and I want to generate an email from ChatGPT. I want to review that email before it's sent out, and I want to send it out, you know, later today. And all of that re- produces a workflow that used to have to drag and drop in Studio just produces the whole workflow right in front of you. So now you've just wow. cut down the time to automate by like 80%, right? Because you're, you're, the road workflow is constructed for you. So all you have left are, you know, kind of going through and picking out and verifying uh, maybe thre- thresholds or qualifications or variables or other kinds of things. But so, so one big announcement really is the availability now of that natural language interface to our flagship product called UiPath Studio. Essentially what we're going to do is help ultimately make every employee of the company an automation creator. Um, and then we started kind of teasing out other big announcements for us as well. So we have another co- project called Codename Jarvis, which applies automation to our assistant tool, which is what an end user might use, say an airline agent or an airline customer service representative or you know an insurance representative. And today they use that a, uh, assistant to kind of kick off automations that were pre-built by, by you know, pre-built by a center of excellence. That end user will be able to create automations. That end user will be able to talk in and say, you know, I want to, I want to, you know, launch an automation that does X, Y, and Z. So what we are really showing here is real natural language interfaces to the entire process of both creating and consuming automations. So exciting. And Wingman, Project Wingman brings together not just natural language, but AI computer vision. You can get a deep right. understanding of a computer screen with Gen AI. I mean, this is well ahead of the curve here in terms of capabilities, it sounds like. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of competitors and a lot of noise out there that talk about some you know, basics. So these are, this is real working code. It's available now um, in private preview, public preview, maybe four or six weeks, and then at uh, commercial in four and forward six. So we're, you know, our, we have the largest R&D effort in the world devoted to AI-powered automation. Uh, by orders of magnitude, right? So uh, these guys are hard at work and uh, delivering some great stuff, Evan. Fantastic. So many tools, so little time to experiment with. Uh, I'm excited to get my hands on Microsoft Copilot. Uh, now, how is uh, Wingman, you know, different from compared to tools like Copilot or others that, that are out there? Yeah, the I think Copilot's been, been good. Sort of like OpenAI with Microsoft. I mean, it kind mm-hmm. of... Kind of legitimized it, you know, in the in the 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 world of the enterprise. Copilot, I think, helped give the kind of excitement about, oh wow, I can talk to my computer, and, you know, and, and produce some kind of, you know, um, some kind of code as a result of human language. You know, I think the challenge though is, you know, Microsoft is trying to you you know be everything to everyone, and the reality is that actually applying you know AI to you know to to real use cases requires you know deep capability sets that can actually address those use cases. And mm. I think in the world of automation, where, where we understand a computer screen, where we understand and interact with many applications, not just Microsoft stack applications, but whatever applications you might use, even legacy systems, spreadsheets, Google Sheets, you know, that heterogeneous way that you really work. I mean, I, I'm sure, Evan, you have your own tech stack, right? I mean, you probably use a few different tools for, for you know, every day, maybe, maybe, maybe a dozen, right? The ability to actually build a workflow uh, and understand how those interoperate. Um, it, it's it's something that's very unique to the UiPath platform, and so I think Copilot set a vision. Uh, I think it's still not available in beta until October. Um, Evan, you probably know better, uh, but I think we're really delivering that on the delivering, delivering on that in the world of automation, and it makes a big difference. And I, I think Evan, the biggest example is that Microsoft's a partner of ours. We're a friend, friend of me. You know, they they obviously are close to open or closed AI, whatever you want to call them. Uh, we, you know, they're not here at this conference. 
I, 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 you know, I'm shocked. AI, you've got Deloitte here, you got HP here, you got all these great, great companies, PwC, AWS. The, the, the reality is these companies or customers are looking to figure out how do I really apply automation and AI and AI algorithms to how work gets done and do that in a way that is secure with governance and such. And I think, um, you know, UiPath on the front end of making that part happen. And Microsoft's doing a great job of, of air, you know, umbrella vision and air cover. Well, we appreciate your leadership in this space. And speaking of which, uh, Forward 6 coming up in just two months, uh, my first Forward 5 last year. And wow, what an amazing community. What an amazing event. You guys uh, did a phenomenal job. Tough to uh, tough to beat last year, but I guess you're going to try. What what can we expect? You know, I've said that every year since Board One, which was in New York, <laughs> Board Two in Miami. We, at Board One, we we over overtook the Marriott, whichever big one, Marriott Marquis or whatever it was, and it was that they were too big for us. And we went to Fontainebleau in Miami. I wish everyone had been there. That was awesome. Then we couldn't fit in there. Then we went to the Bellagio in Forward Three, and now we we couldn't fit there. We're actually here in the MGM. Um, you know, we'll get four or five thousand. People were, were ahead of all the numbers in terms of, intent, of, of interest and, and sponsorships. And um, uh, I think, you know, it's a defining moment, a defining event for not only automation, but for enterprise AI. And we've got, you know, we're going to be taking this world to a whole new level with big announcements on stage, about 225 customer-led talks, right? These are, these are you know, real, uh, and these aren't basic use cases in task mm. automation anymore, right? These are how am I really transforming, you know, HR? How am I really transforming supply chain? Right, the Intel trade uh, chief trade officer will. Has got, I just was off with him recently. He's going to speak about revolutionizing. Finally, in 30 years of him doing this work, the ability to to, you know, drive more efficient compliance and trade across you know, 100 countries. Right. So this is real use cases that's building real huge value. In some cases, you know, billion dollars plus value, like at a signal or something. So. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a great one, Evan. I promise we'll top it, you know, or I'll buy you some drinks and, you know, we'll, <laughs> you can tell me what I can do better and we'll do that anyway. All right. Well, October 9th, you know, sign up, pencil it in. I know there are a lot of overlapping and competing events, but this is a uh, one not to miss for sure. Well, Bobby, you have a busy next day or two as the event, uh, uh rolls up. Uh, what are you looking forward to next? What, what's, what's next on the uh, agenda? Yeah, so it's pretty pretty cool. We watched today spot the robot walk upstairs and down to like a spot do a dog robot going up and down, and how it used computer vision to see this, the room and to be able to, to take if you take a picture of spot the robot, it actually poses for you. It, it's really impressive, and you know that computer vision technology on top of a physical robot it's not much different than our computer vision technology. It's like a human looking at a screen, right? And that mm. uh, in the comparison is actually a very a very a very real one, but. Uh, the innovation here has been amazing. Mastercard, their chief data officer, on stage, all about about, about AI governance. Like the the leaders, the thought leadership right now on on stage. Our chief strategy officer, Brandon Deer, was on stage, and Evan, he was so cool. He had the CEO of Do Not Pay, Joshua Bounder, mm. there, and they talked about you know how you know you can right now go to Do Not Pay, and for thirty six dollars, you know you can have your own lawyer fight back against robocalls. You know you can get fifteen hundred back. For every robocall you get to your phone, That's you probably don't know how to fight that. Well, they actually have a solution for doing it. You got to, I'm going to post a video later, Evan. You got to watch it. it. It is the coolest thing. So he interviewed the, 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 the uh, he talked about how his robots fight back to, you know, so to, to win, you know, better outcomes against the chatbots at Comcast on, you know, when you're pissed off at your cable company, right? So uh, really amazing talks. And I'm looking forward to, to, to more of them. And, and uh, you know, I think UiPath, I think the front and center stage, at what may be one of the most important AI and the enterprise events this year showcases our determination to to lead the AI era for the you know for the rest of the decade. Well, so exciting! The most exciting time in my career, probably yours, and exciting <laughs> days at at UiPath. Well, thanks for taking a few minutes to share, you know, insights and opportunities, and uh, we'll see you at at Forward Six. All right, All right. All thanks right. everyone. Thanks, Take care. Take care. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.